to the program. Thanks for joining us. You know, it's not easy keeping up with current events. As soon as you catch up, uh, more happens. That's where conventional wisdom fits in. Conventional wisdom is the agreed-upon understanding of an event or person. Uh, John Kerry's a flip-flopper. Uh, George Bush has sincere heartland values and is stupid. Um, <laughs> what matters is not that the designation be true, just that it be agreed upon by the media so that no further thought has to be put into it. So how is conventional wisdom arrived at? For instance, uh, let's take the example of the addition of John Edwards to the Democratic ticket. I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know what it means. Here's how I will. Uh, this is 28 pages from the Republican National Committee. It says, who is Edwards? Starts off by saying a disingenuous, un unaccomplished liberal. We also saw from the uh, Bush-Cheney camp, they had released uh, talking points to their supporters. Talking points. That's how we learn things. But how will I absorb a talking point like... Edwards and Carrier out of the mainstream unless I get it jackhammered into my skull. That's where television lends a hand. He stands way out of the mainstream, way out of the mainstream. That stands so far out of the mainstream that he is out of the mainstream. Or out of the mainstream is well out of the mainstream. I'm, I'm getting the feeling, I, I think, I think they're out of the mainstream. <laughs> but what if I wonder why? Two of the four most liberal senators, two of the four most liberal U.S. senators. The most liberal member of the United States Senate. The most liberal member of the United States Senate. Who is the number one rated liberal in the United States Senate. The number one most liberal senator in the United States Senate. Wow, those guys are liberal. <laughs> in fact, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're the first and fourth most liberal in the whole Senate. And while we don't have any idea what that means or where those rankings come from or how they were arrived at or whether it's even true, I don't like the sounds of it. And it's certainly not something for the media to question. As a matter of fact, I would imagine people like that, liberal and out of the mainstream, hang out in some pretty extreme places. It's talking about for the viewers. hate fest. Hollywood hate fest. The last Thursday night's hate fest. Radio City Music Hall hate fest. See? Out of the mainstream, liberals at hate fest. <laughs> Keeping up with current events is easier than you think. <laughs> talking points. They're true because they're said a lot. <laughs> we'll be right back.